I am Atomic Bob. Today I will show you how to make mustard with prickly pears. <laughs> okay, here's the atomic pear, prickly pear. I'm now going to cut it top and bottom and add it to my saucepan here. Okay, you want to follow my actions. Cut here, cut there, and cut it into little pieces. Let's slice it up into little bits. That's it, and throw it in my saucepan. I've got lots of them. I'm going to make lots today. This is mustard by Atomic Bob. Look at that, how you slice them up. Just throw all in there with all the skin and everything. Great. These have been washed and left under water for two hours. That gets them nice and prickle free. Because you don't want to be prickled, do we? But anyway, I'm wearing these gloves. Let's cut it there, cut it there, and cut it into little pieces. So whilst we're waiting for our saucepan to boil, I'm just going to eat a prickly pear raw. Because you can eat them raw as well. Just cut it like that, cut it like that, cut it like that. Open it up. Oh, look at that, it's lovely. Mmm. Sweet. Thumbs up. Okay, now we're on to the next phase of the mustard making by Atomic Bob. We have here a, a grater that's going to mince them up. We're just going to filter them through this, see how that works. And we're going to put that on there, on our saucepan. It's got these little things here. So we're going to put it on our saucepan. And then we're going to get some nice prickly pear juice. Look at that. See how that's boiled up nicely. And so we just put a prickly pear juice into the saucepan like that. We can put it in with all the skin and everything because it's going to be filtered now. Okay, so we get as much in there as possible. This is just the, the, the second phase. Because then after this we're going to have to boil it for two hours. Put as much juice in there as possible. Okay. Oh, we're getting down to half a saucepan here. I can put a bit of solid in there as well, look. Got a bit of solid in there. Okay, now I'm going to turn it round. Spin it round there. Whoa. Just to turn it a bit faster. Mincing there, so all the pips, all the pips are staying in the top half, and the juice is going through to the bottom half. Here we have our prickly pear juice, Just pouring it into the bigger saucepan there, because otherwise it's going to be too much for this saucepan. So I put the other saucepan on the side here. Put the lid on that for now. Okay, now we've put our prickly pear juice into the saucepan and we're going to boil for two hours. Two hours. Okay, here we have the prickly pear juice in the saucepan. It's boiling, as you can see. And in the meantime, I think it's time to go and pick some almonds. Okay, here we are in my neighbour's garden, just picking the almonds, my neighbour's almonds. This is the, the, the third phase 
got to be quiet because somebody might jump out and catch me. Because uh, we're scrumping these uh, these almonds at the minute. Okay, this is the third phase of the recipe: atomic bobs mustard. That's an almond, fully biological. Now we're going to shell them. Let's go. Okay, we got our almonds there. Got them picked off the trees. Now it's time to get them out of their shells. To do that, I use this stone. Just give them a little tap with a stone. Whack them like that. That's it. Once you crack the shell, open it up, and now comes the almond. We'll be skimming them later. So that goes in the in there. Got plenty of time to do this because you're waiting for your uh, prickly pear juice to boil away. Okay, here I have the almonds, all shelled. Now what we want to do is we want to take this skin off, because that's kind of rough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the almonds, as they are, in boiling water for a few seconds. Drain them. We have drained the almonds. Drain them really good. Get all the water out. Okay, now you can see so that just pops off now that they've been in the hot boiling water. See? Okay, once we've skinned the almonds, it's time to cut them into little pieces. So we're just going to cut them up with a knife. Okay, now I'm adding the cold prickly pear juice to the flour. I've cal calculated 100 grams of flour for every litre of prickly pear juice. So now I'm going to make a, a dough where I don't get any lumps. Just mixing it in the juice there. That's that. Get a good big mix on there. Oh, that's a lovely mix. Look at that. Lovely colour. There's a perfume here of the prickly pears as they boil away. The characteristic perfume of prickly pears. Now we add our almonds to our mix there. Slide them in there. Okay, the almonds in, we mix them in nicely, amalgamate them, and if we want to add a bit of uh, orange skin, lemon skin I mean, put some lemon skin in there, you can put orange skin in there as well, so you so we can put some, uh, oh I'm putting lemon skin in, but you can also put uh, mandarin skin in. As long as it's biological, it's got to be all biological. For the atomic mustard. Oh, what a lovely perfume. Okay, I'm putting a bit of lemon skin in. Put another lemon there. Whey! <laughs> Get a bit more lemon skin in. These lemons have a life of their own. I always say to my son, don't be a lemon. And he always says, I'm not a lemon. Well, I'm glad of that. Because who'd want to be a lemon? And get grated into mustard. <laughs> okay, now. Get a bit more of that in there. Now we're adding a secret ingredient. 
I don't know what that's called in uh, in English. It's like canela. Okay, we're gonna put a bit of canela in there. Not cumin, canela. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, just gonna shake that in there. Okay, and then we. I think we got enough of that now. Just gonna mix that all in all in together. And now it's time for the last part of phase three. Phase three is the longest phase. The last part of phase three is we go add this lovely mix into our big saucepan full of prickly pear juice. Okay, let's just slide it in there, stirring all the time. Watch out because this burns. This explosive stuff bubbling up. stirring all the time and in it goes clean out the bowl a bit there and let's get it in there oh lovely look at that just sloppy and sludgy okay I've got to stir it I want to bring it to the boil so I've got about seven litres of air going on there seven litres of mustard Okay, that's it. We've brought our prickly pears to the boil. See they're boiling away there. Bubbly, bubbly. Lovely bubbles. And we're going to turn it around a bit. That's five hours of work. There we have it. Atomic mustard. Okay, here we are at the last phase. Here's the bamboo drying rack that I made earlier. These are coming out of their form now, I'll just pop them out there, put them on the drying rack. Look at that, fantastic. So just give it a little shake there, out it comes like jelly. Form there and put it on the rack. This is sun dried mustard, we're putting it on there. Give it a little shake, and there are the final product atomic mustard. You can even eat it now. Look, this delightful stuff. Mmm. Mmm. Sweet. Of course, once it's dried out, it's a bit more chewy. Right now, it's a bit more like jelly. Mmm. Well, I shake it out, put it on the rack. Once I'm done, let's get these ones out. Once I'm done, it'll be time to cover them over and leave them dry out in the sun for a couple of days. Got the Mediterranean sun, so I just cover them over the, with a net, keeps any bugs off, cover that over. And there you have it.